What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy, Saucy Boy Zane. I'm back with another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you swipe up. Swipe up a little bit, click that sub button. If not, if you're already sub, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below, let me know that you're watching the video. Quick little comment, you know, anything, how your day's been, whatever you want to comment. Just let me know that I can see that you're active, you know, on the videos, you're watching it, and you're in here with me. So look, we're going to get straight to the point. If you are currently doing something or you want to do something, you watch my old videos, more than likely you probably do, you already watch my other ones. I always talk about your goal, what you want to do, your dream, and how to pursue it, you know, like how to figure out what you want to do, and you know, how to get there, or you know, what the mindset to have to reach the goal. But the thing is, a lot of people will have a goal, a dream, or like something they currently want to do. So say you want to be like, I don't know, a basketball player, right? They might want to be a basketball player based off of other people, you know, like the people that they watch, you know, whether it's just like a celebrity or something like that. They might want to be a basketball player for that reason, not because, you know, they like basketball, because they like playing basketball. Now, the odds of that are very slim. They can also be a job, too. Like, if you want to be, I don't know, like a doctor, you might only want to be a doctor for, like, from a TV show, or, like, there's other things that people might want to do a job or be something specific. Mainly, one of them is, like, a YouTuber, you know, like, an influencer, something to where, like, you have to choose to do it, and it's, like, a little bit more different than, like, a job. So, people might want to do this based on, you know, like, say, like, a TV show, a movie, their favorite, like, celebrity, or, you know, their favorite YouTuber, their favorite rapper, their artist. An artist one is another one. That is a very main one. People start rapping and all that stuff. A lot of people rap just because it's, like, trending or just, you know, you can make a lot of money off of it. I understand. But here's the thing. When you're grinding, right, you already know what I'm talking about. If you set that progress where you're going up and down, you know, you're growing, you're having some, you know, fame you're getting, whatever it is, whether it's fame or, you know, anything in that sense. So once you start, you know, moving up instead of, like, getting fame, growing in that, you might not truly love what you're doing you might not truly want to do that. that might not be what you're made to do maybe you're not made to be a rapper you might not be made to do this you have to figure out what you want to truly do with yourself that's going to make you happy and it's going to benefit you don't do it to benefit others don't do it to you know like i don't know fit in i don't i don't i really don't know because see i don't do that stuff i strictly just want to help people in any way and then entertain in, in a sense so like if i'm making you know i do youtube so I want to stay doing YouTube and I want to do YouTube. So I want to not just be like an entertainer. I don't want to be just known as someone that just entertains videos, you know, makes you laugh, do stuff like that. Now, I want to entertain, I want to make you laugh, I want to make you have a good time. But I also want to help people out. Like I want to like influence people, the people that don't know what they want to do, or the people that are stuck or just don't have any like clue of like they don't think about it or anything. I'm here to help them people as well. As well as, like I said, the entertaining aspect of YouTube too. I want to do both. I don't want to be a basic YouTuber, you know. Now, I used to watch a bunch of YouTube. I still watch a bunch of YouTube. And they, I guess you'd say, influence me. But that's more of just, like, how to do YouTube kind of videos, the kind of edits, stuff like that. They kind of, like, give me information on how to do better things for YouTube. You know, you always have to learn from other people. You're not just going to be the best overnight. Or you're not just going to be the best without learning from other people. You have to learn. You have to practice, stuff like that. Whether it's just videos, regular edits, intros, Stuff like that. Now, I really don't edit too much of my videos. I don't have to edit too much. I literally, like, my most editing is, like, shorting the clip. Like, me, like, cutting it and stuff like that. That's really all I have to do because I don't have any content at the moment that needs really editing. And if it is, it's very basic stuff that I can do. But more of just, like, thumbnails and stuff. Now, that stuff, you really need, like, certain programs and apps for it. But I feel like I do pretty good on my thumbnails. Decent job. Nothing too crazy. I don't put, you know, hours into it, all this stuff. I don't have Photoshop or any of that stuff, so I really just do it off of just cropping and inserting myself and words and text on it. But this can be simply anything. If you were to just listen to all that, that can go for anything. You're going to have to you know, get better at this. You're going to have to grind to get better, and you're going to want to achieve that way that you can reach your goal. But if it's truly not your goal, you will not be happy. That's the main thing in life. I don't care what anyone says. The main goal in life is to be happy. You cannot be happy and be, you know, thousand millionaire. It won't work because you will spend that money to make you happy. And the thing that you're spending money on will not truly make you happy. They will more than likely mess you up, affect you, or ultimately get in your way in some way, shape, or form. That's just how it's going to be. Money cannot buy happiness. It might be able to make you happy for a little bit for the people you know. If you grew up in like an area where you did not have a lot of money, you had a good amount, but you weren't just able to get whatever you want whenever you want it. 
you might think of it as like, okay, I'll be happy if I have money, but truly you will not be happy. The money will help for a little bit, but long term, you will not be happy. You will not have any happiness in your life if you're just dedicated to, you know, strictly doing something for money, no happiness. You have no reason to do it. You just do it for the money. You cannot live life like that. And it's just to benefit you. Now, if you want to, I don't, I wouldn't even say today, don't do it. Because truly, if you're being happy with your doing, you can make money doing anything. It is 2019, about to be 2020. You literally can do anything and make bread off of it. You know this. You can do YouTube. YouTube is one of the main things where you can strictly just do what you want to do and record it and put it on YouTube. Now, people, you say, oh, you do have a YouTube channel, or you're a YouTuber. They might just think of vlogging because that's all they know. But there's literally people that do drawing, like tutorials how to draw, how to build things, how to fix stuff, how to repair stuff. You can literally repair cars. You can build stuff. You can be super, like, hands-on crafty with, like, say you have, like, some popsicle sticks, some cotton balls, and some shrink. You can build and make that into a YouTube video. You can be any form of a YouTuber. That's why I love YouTube because you can always change up your styles. Whether it's a story time, a vlog, a video game aspect, if you're just simply doing a video like this where you're sitting down and talking about real things, or you can do channel, like, there's so many different things you can do for YouTube that people love to enjoy, and you can grab all of them and bring them together. You can just bring the whole community into one, or you can just combine a group of people and show them an interest that they might not have thought that they might like or be interested in in the first place because they don't just go out of their time and look for it. But if your favorite YouTuber started doing other things, you might start to like it or be like, oh, dang, that's actually pretty cool. Let me start doing that. But you need the, pu the people to push you in the right ways, if you know what I mean. Like, you can't just learn everything by yourself when you're in. You have to get the information from others. Really say, okay, will this help me? Do I like this? Will I want to do this? Will I want to pursue something like this? You have to all mentally be ready for everything and think about everything. Before I started YouTube, you know, I, sh I just started it. I always wanted to do YouTube for like three years before I wanted to start a YouTube channel. Me and all my friends always talked about it. I was like, oh, I want to start a YouTube. Y'all yeah, want to, I want to, I want to. But I never did. Then one night I'm sitting there and I'm just thinking like, I really want to do this. Like this is something that I would want to do. I play a lot of 2K. I, you know, I played a game a lot. Why not get something out of it? And I know it will make me happy. I will, you know, be proud of what I'm doing. If I'm just putting out a video a day, a video before it was like a video a week, around a video a week. And that was just like a goal of mine that I was doing. That was making me happy when I put out a video. My first ever video I edit took me probably like three days. Because, you know, I wasn't straight on hands on doing because of school, other things. It was like the nicer weather. So I was just chilling. But once you start getting onto an attack, you just set small goals, whatever it is. If you want to play a sport, say it's basketball. Okay, start with left hand legs, drilling with your left hand. Then you can start getting to, you know, like all types, you know, like different things, fadeaways, running shots, different aspects of your goal or your dream. Everything is like that. Whether it's drawing, maybe you start out with little cartoon things, then you're getting to like realistic drawings. Or you want to cook, or you want to dance. Anything. It applies to all. Just listen. Everything you want to do, there's aspects of it. You can start small. You can always improve whatever you're doing. But are you truly, truly happy doing what you want to do? Don't satisfy the other people. Not everyone will be there forever. Then I was sad to say, but not every one of your friends will be your friends for the rest of your life. It's not how it works. That's not how life works. People come and they go. Don't think about it too deep. Live life in the present. But have the mindset of being aware of what you want to become and how you will become it. You can't just sit there and just chill like, oh, I want to be a basketball player. And just keep thinking this. Go do something for basketball. Go do something for whatever you want to do. Whether it's just research, watching videos, learning, studying more about it to see if you truly want to do that. Very different for every person. Some people don't want to do the same thing as you. You can have people that want to do wild things, way different things that a small amount of people want to do. Search it up on YouTube, Google, anything. Find ways... Maybe find some schools that have it that are, you know, college that might have it out there or just programs that you can sign up to get it. But that's really it, man. All I got to say is make sure you are happy with what you're doing. Don't do it to satisfy other people. You will not see good results in your life from that. Be happy with what you're doing because once you're happy, man, you can do whatever you want. Once you're happy, you can make everyone around you happy. That energy will spread everywhere. Everything you do, you will have that positive, that happiness with you and you will just... Everyone will get it. It's literally a domino effect. You're happy, man. You're going to pass it around with all the people around you. That real positive energy where you're just happy day to day to day and nothing seems to bother you because you're satisfied with what you're doing. You have your mind straight. You have your goal set forward and you are grinding to achieve what you want to achieve. I'm telling you, nothing will take you down. This is how I live right now. Nothing affects me. 
don't I don't I don't remember having a bad day. I don't know what it's like to have a bad day anymore because I strictly focus on myself, my mind, and what I want to do. Every day I think about YouTube. Whether I don't upload a video, I think about the next day's video. Even little things, future videos. I have a huge notepad in my on my phone with video ideas that I want to do. I always think about the future video ideas that I have. Like, alright, how can I do this? What will I need for this? The people that I can plan things out to bring y'all videos. But I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new, make sure you hit that sub button. We close to that 400. We only like 50, 60 away. Make sure you hit that sub button. Share the video with your friends. I'm out, man. Peace.